When you multiply monomials and binomials, it's important to multiply binomials first. Then you can go ahead and distribute the monomial through. In example one, we have four multiplied to two binomials. Let's go ahead and multiply or FOIL out the binomial times the binomial first and then distribute the four. It's important to remember to keep the four with you at all times as you do all the other multiplication. 2x times 3x is 6x squared. 2x times 1 is 2x. Negative 4 times 3x is negative 12x. And negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Combining like terms, we get 4, again, keeping that out front, times 6x squared minus 10x minus 4. Now that we have simplified the trinomial, or foiled and then simplified, we can now distribute the 4 to each term inside parentheses. This gives us 24x squared minus 40x minus 16. Notice that there are no more like terms and we've distributed the 4 through to each term inside parentheses. And that's our final solution to the expression. In example 2, we have 3x out front. Again, it's very important to keep that 3x with you at all times until you've distributed it through. So, we're going to go ahead and FOIL and then distribute the 3x. x times 2x is 2x squared. x times 5 is 5x. Negative 6 times 2x is negative 12x. And negative 6 times positive 5 is negative 30. Let's go ahead and rewrite this with the polynomial simplified and all like terms combined. Being very careful to keep the 3x factor out front with us at all times, we get 2x squared minus 7x minus 30. I can now go through and distribute the 3x to each term inside parentheses. Doing this, I get 6x to the third minus 21x squared minus 90x. Again, none of my terms can combine at this point, and so that's my simplified expression, which is a trinomial.